Hello, my name is Raphael Welt. I am a lecturer in human-computer interaction at the Breda University of Applied Sciences in the Netherlands. What I'm going to show you is a short video tutorial that I have created for my students in the Master in Media Innovation. I hope you will be interested in seeing the potential of Microsoft PowerPoint to create interactive prototypes. Creating prototypes is not the main purpose of Microsoft PowerPoint, but you will see that it's a very powerful tool. And I suppose that many of you are already familiar with that tool. I'll start by creating a new blank presentation. So here, um, this is a, a regular uh, landscape mode slide, but I want to use it as a portrait mode because I want to simulate a mobile phone. So I'm going here in design and I can change the side Oh, my size of my slide. I'll make it portrait. What I will do now is because I want to have common elements on many pages, I will move to the master view here. So I have two levels of master. I have a master master and uh, slide layouts. I'll, I'll keep just one slide layout at the moment. This will be easier to modify. And what I will do on my slide master is I will, I will remove unneeded elements and I will start by creating a frame here. Well, also what I want to do is I want to choose a color style that I like. So here maybe I'll choose the green one. No, I'll insert a shape, a rounded rectangle to make the frame of the phone like this. My phone will be black. It's the most common color nowadays. Make sure it's aligned in the center. No, I'll create a, a shape for the screen of the phone like this. And I'll make it white this time. Now I will create a, a, a bar at the top. I will, to create a navigation bar, I will add a rectangle at the top. So here, uh, another rectangle. And one powerful feature of Microsoft PowerPoint is that you have access to a whole library of icons. So I'll go here to insert icons and I'll um, have a home icon. I will have a, a book for the list of recipes. I will vegetables for the ingredients, profile button like this. So I'll put all these icons here at the top. Make sure that the profile is towards the right. And I will make sure everyone is aligned. And this is my navigation bar. And this will be on every screen. Now I will create individual layouts here and I will create two layouts. One uh, which is a uh, one column layout with some pictures at the bottom and one which is a two column layout. What I will do is I'll start by renaming the layout and I'll call it one column. And what I want in here is I want a bar at the top that has my titles. I'll change uh, the style so I'll make it smaller and I'll uh, add a shading like this. Now I will create a main content block. So I have to go to Ma Slide Master Insert Placeholder for that. I'll create a content block that's here 
in the middle and I'll create these two columns I'll just make them a bit wider yes like this so here I have my one column at the top two columns at the bottom I'll remove this one thing that I forgot to tell you very important by default in PowerPoint when you present a slideshow and you click anywhere it will go to the next slide this is a behavior that I can remove on my master here so I'll, I'll remove it and it will be removed everywhere and you won't have that you will only be able to click on the places you want to click I'll duplicate this layout here and I'll rename it to to column and here I'll just have this two column layout. So I'm done at the moment for the master and I can go back here and close the master view. I, I'll delete the, the slide I've already created and I will create a home slide and I'm choosing my one column layout. Here that will be my recipes home. So maybe I, I, I realize sometime that I have to change the master layout a bit so don't hesitate to go back here into slide master so I want this instead of being bottom aligned I want it to be middle aligned and I'll just move it slightly to the left and now I'm closing the master view and this is aligned the way I want it to so here I can add some text welcome to my recipes and I can add some, some blah, 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 if I want to. And have two pictures of recipes. So I can choose pictures from my computer or I can choose online pictures. What's interesting is uh, when you choose online pictures, so I will uh, find a picture of a sandwich. I have the option to choose Creative Commons only. So you will have a little subtitle below that that tells you uh, what are the rights for this picture and here I will put typical Dutch food one thing I want to add to on my own is I want to add a big button in the middle to show all recipes so to make a button the simplest is to take a rounded rectangle shape like this I can choose one of these quick styles and I can write here in the middle and I'll type see all recipes and I'll make it bigger like this at the moment my button is not working but I also don't have any other screens so now I'll create a new screen I go to new slide and I will choose the two column layout and I will make it my list of recipes and here I will choose uh, for example well I'll use the same ones again So now I have a grid filled in with images. I can create my new one column layout for a single recipe. And this time I will choose the uh, bow dumplings. Again, I'll, I'll take the image of the dumplings. Here 
here I will have, let's say, the list of ingredients. And here I'll um, write the recipe. And let, let's say uh, this is all I want at the moment for my prototype. Now I will create the links. And the links, I can put them on items, uh, but I can also put them on, on text. I can put them on the main slides, but I can also put uh, these links on the masters themselves. So what I will do here is I will start by making this a link to all recipes. So I go here to insert link and here instead of choosing a web page or a file I will link to a place in this document the list of recipe I can also add something that's a screen tip and this will help uh, the, the people who test the prototype to see what's behind so I'll type also list of recipes here we are and here I will link the, the picture of the dumplings here again link and here I have the, these working links. Now I'll go back to the master view in view slide master and now I'll create the links in the navigation bar. So go back here and I will start by this one, insert link and this is a link to the home page this one too i will make a link to list of recipes and here i am i will close the master view and of course you can make a much more complicated prototype but i will call it a day and I will test it now. And to test the prototype, you just have to go in the uh, presentation mode. So I've clicked here, I'll use the F5 shortcut. And here I'm in presentation mode because I've not allowed it to uh, move to a new slide when I'm clicking, the, the click doesn't work. Here I can click on see all recipes, this is working. I can click on my dumplings and this brings me here. I can click on the home button and I can click on the list of recipes. So now you've seen how with PowerPoint you can easily make a fully working uh, clickable prototype and using masters in, in, in uh, PowerPoint you can easily uh, have reusable elements so you don't need to link these buttons in every single screen. Thank you for watching. This is only a small part of what we do at uh, Breda University of Applied Sciences in the Master in Media Innovation. If you want to know more, don't hesitate to visit the website at www.buas.nl.